So what I'm going to do today is try to give you a uh, tutorial on uh, some free video editing software from NCH. The name of it is VideoPad. I'll put a link to it uh, in the comments section so you can download it if you haven't already and, and give it a try. Uh, what I'm going to try and show you today is uh, how to use the toolbar, how to import your pictures and videos, uh, importing and editing music files, adding titles and credits, using the effects, and then saving your project when you're done. So let's look at the toolbar up at the top here. Uh, the first icon here is the Add Media icon. If you click on that, uh, it takes you uh, to uh, uh, a menu where you can navigate to wherever your files are. For this uh, uh, demonstration, I've put all the files I'm going to use today in a in a, a directory already. So, uh, but you can navigate to wherever you keep uh, your video files, pictures, sound files, or whatever. Um, the next icon is the capture icon, and if you have uh, uh, a device hooked up to the computer, a video cam, uh, a digital camera, you can capture directly into uh, VideoPad using that icon. Uh, the next icon, it says insert a blank, and what that is is a blank clip, and I, I will show you what that's used for as soon as we get started. If you want to add narration to your, your video, uh, you would click on this. Of course, you'd have to have some sort of a microphone. Uh, we have nothing to preview right now, but once we get some content uh, uh, down here in the program, we'd be able to preview what we've done. Uh, save Movie allows you to save uh, your project in various file formats. Uh, the Options uh, uh, button, let's take a look at that. Uh, you have uh, several things here that you can do. Uh, you've got the default cache folder. I haven't changed that. Uh, you've got the default duration. If you're doing a slideshow and uh, import several uh, photos, the default duration is three seconds in between those. You can increase that or decrease it as you please. Uh, I usually on my slideshows like a little longer than that. And then, uh, by default, there is no uh, uh, transition effect, but you can, if you click this button here, you have three that you can select from. There's a fade, a cross fade, and a fade through white. I like the cross fade myself, and then I usually like one second on my transitions. Uh, the next uh, tab uh, allows you to set the directories where uh, you keep your videos, your narrations, uh, files you've converted, snapshots. Uh, it allows you to change your MP3 settings uh, and uh, where you want to copy your files to uh, uh, when you're saving them. Plugin filters, I'll go into that uh, when we get into the program and then other. Uh, here we have when sound clips overlap what action to take and, and the default is ask me. You can set it to automatically cut the active clip or push it to the right. I prefer the ask me. And then uh, when you add a new clip where do you want that new clip? Here again the default is ask me. I personally prefer that, uh, but you can tell it to put it at the end of the timeline, the beginning, or somewhere in the middle. That's up to you. Uh, the other check boxes I leave uh, as that the default settings. Down here toward the bottom, uh, it has external editors. and. 
uh, the uh, package, if you get the whole NCH package that you can download, it has several programs there. It has sound edio, uh, editors, it has video, this video editor, uh, it has uh, photo editors, uh, it has burners, there's, there's six or eight different programs that you can you can download. By default, if you download that full suite of programs, when you do any external editing, it's going to use their programs. If you have another program that you would prefer to use, then you enter the path to it here. And, and as far as image files are concerned, I want to use Photoshop, so I have entered that there. Okay, moving on. Uh, the next icon is Buy Online. And with that icon, uh, you can buy the full version that has more features. I'm not sure exactly what those features are. Uh, uh, but uh, I'm sure it's more than what we have here. Then the next icon is the help file and it has a pretty good help uh, 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 document that uh, you can use uh, to if you get stuck on anything. And then over to the far right, uh, this is where you can, uh, from this icon, download the other programs that uh, that uh, NCH offers if you haven't already done that. So that is the toolbar. Uh, now let's move on to uh, putting some content into the program. So I'm going up here to add media and I'm going to pick a uh, uh, video file that I downloaded uh, from a royalty free site. I'll also put that site uh, uh, in the comments, a link to that. I'm going to download a uh, a picture, and that's all for now. So, to get started, I'm going to drag this video file down into the timeline. Now. You have, when you get down here, you have uh, the sequence style that you can choose from. You can choose the storyboard, which shows each item that you put in, or you can choose timeline. Uh, I prefer to work in storyboard, but the timeline is handy if you want to clip your uh, video, uh, which is very easy to do. You just mark where you want it clipped. Uh, put the cursor at that point, you'll see the, the red line that's coming down here. And if we place it right there and come over here to the split uh, icon, and there's a little razor blade there, you click split and now it's split. And then I'm going to uh, select the uh, one on the left and delete it. So uh, I have just clipped uh, the uh, video uh, down uh, to uh, clipped a few seconds off of it. 